towers didn't burn up, nor did they slam to the ground. They turned into dust in midair, midair, midair. this corner up here. And you get these, I call them Cheetos. And in case people don't know what Cheetos are, they, you know, little orange thing on the ground, and you're not gonna confuse that with a piece of steel, but there's these little things that look like Cheetos that are, that are glowing. Pretty strange. The firefighters are uh, reporting molten metal like a slurry Here's or a steel me. mill or a volcano. Those are quotes. Well, Giant what about, pools. What about the pictures of them dragging oxygen hoses all over the steaming supposed hot metal? If it were that hot, you wouldn't dare do that, would you? <laughs> would you? Well, we do have the infrared uh, photos of the uh, molten metal. Well, uh, again, what, what melted the metal? Was it heat? Or was it something else? Here on this uh, thermal map that is so often quoted, point E is right next to where building three had been. Here's point E. According to the measurement there, it's supposed to be 819 Fahrenheit. That's above 212, the water boils. This guy doesn't look like a boiled chicken. Yeah, how hot can that be? So the, the color in that map meant something else. It wasn't temperature. And nice bushy trees didn't melt. But or it didn't burn, neither did the paper in the street. But what happened to these vehicles? What happened to his engine? And where that firefighter walked up the street and turned the corner, here's right where he turned the corner. Again, you have these Cheetos on the ground whatever they are. What's strange is, is the uh, fire on the side of the van in front. And again, it was a different contrast. You can see it's just on the side of the van. What's burning? This shows uh, the apparent spontaneous combustion. This is during the cleanup. You see that thing that flashed over there? There's another slow motion clip of it. We'll see it over here somewhere. Oh, there it goes. Just apparent spontaneous combustion. This is a clip where they talk about hot steel-toed boots. Up to 10 times a night, often until 2 in the morning, delivering whatever it is rescue workers need to do their jobs, like the ones working in the hot spots. Steel-toed boots is one of the biggest things. Um, steel-toed boots? Steel-toed boots. Out, still on the rubble, it's still, uh, I believe, 1,100 degrees. The guy's boots just melt within a few hours, um, and they're burning their feet. That story was repeated again and again and again. People assumed it was proof that it was hot. When my steel oven melts, the turkey inside is more than well done. So how can you have steel-toed boots melting and there's no reports of burned feet? What I, how I hear that is the boots were coming apart. They're disintegrating. Someone suggested it was because of heat and people just ran with that story. It was the best, you know, the only answer they got to the question, so they ran with it. But something was, was likely happening to those boots coming apart. But you can't walk around on a, on a barbecue grill without burning, you know, if it's that temperature. Mayor Giuliani. 
there were fires of 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit below the ground. I could be standing here, and you could be standing there, and I could be describing to you, Governor, the, the, the site, and then a fire would break out in between us. And uh, it was just by luck or the design of God that we weren't killed. He was standing on 2,000 degree temperature pile. Uh, he doesn't mean to be sounding like an idiot. He was describing something that he experienced and that was the best explanation he could give. Weird spontaneous, apparent spontaneous combustion. So here we are down to the rolled up carpets. We'll see why I call it that. At the end of the, of the day, you have these uh, straight soldiers here. If you have buckling from overload, doesn't it bend over? Doesn't it bend around the horizontal axis? Why, why is everything straight? If you overload these outer columns, they're going to bend. If you mash something down real hard, it's going to bow out. Yet what we have, instead of having it uh, bend over, is curling around the vertical axis. Here's a cluster of three columns. And this lasagna noodle, see, you, you can't confuse that with a piece of food, but it emphasizes the fact that this isn't loading that does this. Something else happened to this. This is straight. It curled around the vertical axis not the horizontal axis. How do you get something to bend more than 180 degrees? And not even crack. It's a smooth bend, and it splits at the seams. This is a very interesting one. I'd like to have somebody, you know, an engineer who claims that that's normal, draw me a free body diagram and show me the loading to put on that beam to make it do that. You know, it's not like a rubber band that recoils. If it's hot and it's flowing, it doesn't have the strength to recoil. So how do you explain this crinkling up, like curling ribbon? Now that's what buckle beams look like. They don't do that. You see through holes there. It just happened at one place. This was found in Banker's Trust. Banker's Trust was determined to have not had any fires in it. So we're going to begin the proof of concept. Okay, here's what we found at the World Trade Center. And here's something that John Hutchison bent. It's molybdenum. It's not, it's not cracked in the corners either. Smooth curling. When I first contact, contacted John Hutchison, I sent him this picture and said, um, does your neighborhood ever get to looking like this? Because you have this toasted vehicle here, and the one in front is parked in the right place, but it's just got the tires in the wrong direction. You know, it's not oriented correctly. And notice all the marble around the doorway is gone. The rest of the building, there's no stab wounds in the building, no big beams went flying through. Another weird thing is the uh, window glass. Sometimes just the outer pane's broken. The rock doesn't do that. Evidence of levitation. The south tower came down, I was across the street, and I picked up the camera just out of habit. And something in the back of my mind said, run, run, run. And never in 20 years of shooting in New York have I run from an assignment. But something in the back of my head just said, run. And as I hit the corner of Liberty Street, um, it was almost being picked up by a tornado. Almost being picked it's up like by a wave. It was like being picked up by the black cloud. That black cloud, cloud had substance. Mm. It was like night, but it had, yeah. had a solid feel to it. It was like gravel, hot gravel, and just picked me up and tossed me about a block. I just, at one second I was running and the next second I was airborne. And I, I, I lost my glasses, I lost my cell phone, I lost my pager, but managed to hold on to both cameras. But it threw you for a block? I was back down at Ground Zero last week and walked the area where I have a pretty good recollection of where I was and where I wound up. And it was, it was just under, it was just under a city block.
it was this blast of warm air. It wasn't hot. It was warm. And it picked me up and threw me up against the wall of the building that was... You were picked up off the ground. Physically picked up off the ground. I remember an explosion. At that point, I got knocked out. I don't remember anything. Then I got up, and I looked out the window because the windows exploded, and the street below caved in. upside down there appear the cars appeared to be either flipped or toasted now let's consider something else here John Hutchison's work he's got water drifting up levitation of water All right. Did it then? now we'll come back and talk about the weather we need to talk about the weather right Someone thought it was a nice, beautiful day. Well, it was right directly above Manhattan, but not a few miles off the East Coast. See, it's as nice as can be. Here's Geraldo Rivera, who's chased you know, out hurricanes for 40 I years. Have been so attracted over the years to hurricane coverage, but it, it, there's risk involved. There is, uh, you know, the peril of not knowing what's going to happen. That adventure, and it's pitting yourself against an, an enemy. It's like war, only no one is shooting at you specifically. Uh, yeah, that's what the allure. But there is an area storm that I am not. That I, the juices don't flow, and you look yeah. and check it out. Remember that? And how Remember can that? I when that? Oh. I watched that, that live. Watch that live too. <laughs> and maybe it's store on YouTube, uh, you know, uh, you got to get up close okay? and personal. And Which, the, this was Hurricane Ike, I think. This, uh, that was recent. That was, uh, wasn't this uh, Rita? You would know. You know what I think it was, Rita? It? Rita in Galveston, Texas. Yeah, yeah. Galveston. Oh, no. And, uh, uh, you know, obviously Katrina before that changed so many of our histories. It was so, so traumatic. You know, and it's well, one funny thing I think of. I think of if only a hurricane had come on 9-11. Remember, they didn't, knew oh, no. how, they didn't know how to use instruments, the mm -hmm. terrorists. They, they took off in Boston, right. and they literally, after they took over the aircraft, they steered by line of sight. And it was that crystal clear September day. Sure was. And if it were only uh, one of these weather days, history would have been rewritten. And I think about that a lot now, and especially this time of year. You can't keep me down. 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 Down, down, down. See, you ain't rockin', for instance, you poppin', but you robbin' hip-hop of traditions. You ain't rappers, you more like crooked politicians, part of whose creation, new nation. Tryin' to fuck us with no lubrication, rapin', never losin' the Lucifer Satan. Callin' me Cain in the cave, man in the cave, came close but never caved in. The false image of a prophet you praisin', you livin' in a nation, livin' in intimidation. Due to primitive media manipulation, terror tactics and intimidation, we lack innovation. Lookin' for more fame, they control your brain. The gullible puppets of the public get played like a board game. Get your jaw reconstructed I ain't no puppet Ain't throwing up no diamond Here's the middle finger Go shove it Fuck the media Posing as experts Fuck the radio Fuck the television networks I'm not apologizing I don't care what the cost is Go ahead corporations You can take back your endorsements Fuck the media Posing as experts Fuck the radio Fuck the television networks You could murder me Before I let you take control My mind is my own And I trust in my soul Telling you that lies and you believe in it the mob minded media mentality speaking to the insecure sheep looking for leadership television producers looking for losers looking for stupid viewers to advertise this dumbing down the consumers you lost your integrity you sold your soul for fame and fortune you defeated some the rusty hanger in the back alley abortion you ain't stopping the progression of my musical expression always got them guessing when I'm dropping a lesson let it rot in your intestine and why so many folks is jealous that I was co-signed by Biggie internet nerds rewriting history lying saying he dissed me I know when you're small brains it might hurt but i was there the closest you ever got was wearing biggie on your t-shirt whatever hype they supplying and advertising you buying let me guide and enlighten they lying i ain't frightened of fighting if you get offended by me and my honesty tell my publicist she never find me making no public apology fuck the media posing as experts fuck the radio fuck the television networks i'm not apologizing i don't care what the cost is go ahead corporations you can take back your endorsements fuck the media Posing as experts, fuck the radio, fuck the television networks. You could murder me 
before I let you take control. My mind is my own and I trust in my soul. Yo, for murdering children, the dead soldiers, the dead surveillance, to the killings and the bombings of the buildings, to borrowing trillions. Who's to blame when the brain of the next insane psycho flips? Brain cells are programmed like they membrane microchips. I'm guns and Bible, I'm pro life and pro war, pro fighting, profanity, writing, reciting, gambling, tossing the dice and trifling, riding, sighting, no low lighting, no hiding. You wanna see the true racist? Just take a look at Joe Biden. Fuck the media posing his experts. Fuck the radio. Fuck the television networks. I'm not apologizing. I don't care what the cost is. Go ahead, corporations. You can take back your endorsements. Fuck the media posing his experts. Fuck the radio. Fuck the television networks. You could murder me before I let you take control. My mind is my own and I trust in my soul. You can't keep me down. You can't keep me down. You can't keep me down, you can't keep me down. You can't keep me down, you can't keep me down. My mind is my own and I trust in my soul. You can't keep me down, you can't keep me down. Down, you can't keep me down, you can't keep me down. Down, you can't keep me down, you can't keep me down. My mind is my own and I trust in my soul. The towers didn't burn up, nor did they slam to the ground. They turn into dust.